or even in fact, because uh, it is an image in PowerPoint, if you do resize from the corner, then it will keep everything in proportion, but just be mindful uh, resizing objects in PowerPoint. Then what I'm gonna do is I can actually insert a shape here if I wanted to. So I'm just gonna insert a shape, just a random shape, just to show you that we can combine, we can combine images and shapes and so forth. I'm going to fill that shape with a color from the photograph. So I can go into the eyedropper tool, shape fill, uh, which is actually under the shape format ribbon, grab the eyedropper tool and just select a color from the photograph. There we go, so that's a color. And then if I wanted to insert a text box, I could just insert text box and then I could type on top of the image. And I can say here is a lovely image. Um, and of course we can place our objects anywhere we like. Uh, so that's not actually the point of the video here, it's just to show you how we can uh, combine all of this stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna change the formatting of this text. I'm just gonna make it uh, white, for example. So just change uh, white, might bold that, uh, might sort of move it onto a darker part of the image so we can read it. Um, here is uh, this object here, which I can sort of resize. And this is not really about the design of the image or the shape. It's just really a, a way of showing you that we can combine these objects to now create an image that we could use somewhere else. So we've basically got a photograph, we've got some text and we've got a shape. And look, just quickly, I can let's insert an icon here as well, because PowerPoint's got some really cool icons uh, available that we could also um, insert here. And I'll just grab one of these, possibly uh, this one, which is fine. Let's just insert that one as well. And we can just sort of place that down here. I can put that in the corner of the uh, image as well. And I can change the color of this uh, icon just by choosing graphic fill. And there we go. So we've essentially got four objects. Uh, we've got the text, we've got the shape, we've got the icon on top of a photo. So how can we turn this into a single image that we could then use somewhere else? Well, all we need to do is now select everything. And I do this just by creating a lasso around the objects and you'll see that everything is selected. And there's two ways that we can do this. First way I'm gonna show you uh, something that's cool. I'm just gonna copy everything. But then what I can do is I can paste and I choose Paste Special, and there's this option called Paste Picture. And what that's done is it's taken those objects and now combined them all into one image. I've still got the original editable file in the background, and I do usually tend to keep these uh, the, the edit editable part of the image, just in case I need to come back and change anything. So I'll put this PowerPoint file in an assets folder. Uh, I'll just sort of pop that up there. Now I've got the uh, the image, which I can then go and do with whatever I like. Uh, I could go back to that original combination of shapes and images and text. While I've got everything selected, if I right mouse click anywhere in the middle of the selected objects, and then I choose the option save as picture, and then I just save the combination of those um, things directly into the um, picture one, save that on the desktop. And now if I go say to a Word document, I can insert the uh, picture uh, from this device, and there you go. So, but obviously I could put this image anywhere I like because it is now a single image with those other things uh, part of it. So hopefully that's helped. PowerPoint's a great tool for things like that and I uh, hope you enjoyed this.